everyone, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today I am reviewing this rain jacket here. This is from a company called Jimax. And I've been testing this out since around January. That means I've worn it in the snow. I've worn it in the rain. In the hot, the cold. And I'm ready to give you all my verdict on this jacket. So to start off here, 360. In this review, I will go over the pros, the cons, and we might as well get started now. As you will see in the upcoming footage, I've used this jacket in numerous types of conditions, ice, rain, snow, and so on. The cost of this jacket, at least with the medium size, is $43 at the time of filming. There's a men's and women's version. It is fairly lightweight. This is the medium size, and it comes in at 15.8 ounces. It is available in three colors, black, gray, navy blue, which you see here. For sizes, you're looking at medium to triple XL. When it comes to the materials, you are looking at a 100% nylon shell. And this jacket does feature YKK zippers. Overall, they've gone with very good materials with this jacket, which is impressive for the $43 price tag. You could easily go out and find jackets that are more expensive that use less quality materials and zippers. Based upon what I was reading at the Amazon listing, this jacket is a three layer jacket. You have the outer fabric, a film, and then the lining, and it's all been bonded together. And what you have is a very premium feeling jacket. I believe they refer to this as a soft touch. And it's almost velvety, it's kind of hard to describe it, but it feels good. And talking about wearing this shell for a second, let's go over the functions and features. You have a center zip, of course. This is a YKK Aqua Guard zipper. You have a zipper pull. You have no chest pocket, but you do have two hand pockets and they are of a good size. And these feature YKK zippers as well. And there are zipper pulls. There are no pit zips with this jacket. You are able to pull it tight around the waist. And on the inside, you have three pockets. One, two, and three. And yes, it's raining slightly at the moment. <laughs> Let's see. You do have a wind block behind the zipper. The jacket does feature a hood. It zips up all the way, just like this. And when it comes to the hood, it is somewhat adjustable. On the inside, you have pulls, one on each side, so you can pull it tight. Now, I will come back to the hood in just a minute because I'm not super impressed with it. As far as adjustments go, it's not very good in that department. You have fully adjustable cuffs, Velcro, and all that good stuff. So you can pull this nice and tight around your gloves or have it looser if you want. On the inside of the jacket, it is 100% seam sealed. And they've done a good job with this. The seam work here is very, very good. The inside fabric is very soft. And as far as features go, that's it. And with that, we might as well jump to the pros and cons, starting with pros. So pro number one is waterproof. This jacket, with my testing, is 100% waterproof. At no point in time have I had any sort of issues when it comes to leaking. This thing has blocked the snow, it's blocked the rain, and also it blocks the wind very well. I've been out for hiking adventures that last for hours and hours and hours in heavy rain and this jacket simply has not leaked. So as far as waterproofing goes, I'm impressed. Jimax claims a hydrostatic head rating of 8,000 and I have no reason not to believe that. Next up, the overall quality of this jacket is very good. The seam work is excellent with one exception. The only issues I've noticed as far as seam work goes, stitching, is on the hood of this jacket. Right along the brim, right here, I had one loose thread and it looks like maybe a poor job was done with, I don't know, tying it off or something. But yeah, there's a bunch up of thread material right here and right next to it and then next to that, again, there are more slight issues. This has not affected performance of this jacket or the hood at all. And it's a very slight imperfection with an otherwise perfect product. Talking about quality, the materials again are very good. The zippers are very good. Speaking of the zipper, it's smooth. It does take a little bit of work to pull it up, and that's because it's a waterproof zipper. That's how they are. Next up, I really like the fact that this jacket has internal pockets. You have two on one side, you have one on another, and that's great. When it comes to a rain jacket, a rain shell, finding internal pockets is a rarity. And with this jacket, you have three. So you can slip some hand warmers in there, maybe a power bank if you need it, if you're going out for like some sort of, I don't know, 
If you're sitting and watching a baseball game with your kids, something like that, you have some pockets on the inside. Another thing that I really like is the lack of tags on the inside of this jacket. The tag printed right onto the jacket there, and there's absolutely nothing else. That's awesome. Next up, when it comes to price, $43 is not a bad price for a rain jacket that performs well. As you may know, a good rain jacket could cost a lot of money. And also, finding one that's waterproof can be hard to find. The last pro that I have for this jacket is that the pack size and the weight is reasonable. You could easily roll this up, and if you do a better job than what I'm doing right now, <laughs> what you have is a jacket that's roughly the same size as a Nalgene water bottle, which is not bad. That's fairly small. Again, the weight is good at less than one pound for the medium size. And now everyone, let's go over the cons that I have for this product, starting with breathability. When it comes to this material, it doesn't breathe very well. So if you're hiking around, you're pushing yourself hard, you begin to sweat, very little moisture is released through this material. So in no time, you can become soaked in sweat. With some of my adventures going hard and fast, but even in cool conditions, I'll sweat and I can literally have sweat just pouring down my arms because there's so little ventilation with this jacket. It does not help that there are no pit zips. So you really are trapping that warm air, that sweat, that moisture inside when you zip it up. Something to keep in mind is that this is a $45 jacket, right? And it performs at a $45 level. If you want the breathability of a $500 jacket, you have to buy a $500 jacket. That's how it goes. Next up, let's talk about sizing. And this is my true issue with this jacket. This is the medium size. And for the chest area, it fits as a medium should. When it comes to the arms, they do not fit as a medium. They're tight, as you can see here. They're a little bit short, as you might be able to see. And this does present some issues when it comes to this jacket, and also my recommendation. Now, going up in a size doesn't solve these problems, because this happens. You will have more material in the arms. They're a little bit longer as well, but the chest area becomes bigger. So <laughs> you have a jacket that fits well in the arms, but it's oversized in the chest, and that's a problem. There's enough room underneath this jacket right now for a down jacket, a puffer jacket, but in the arms, it'd be way too tight. Now, luckily, this material does stretch just a little bit, so you can move around. You can maneuver, you can do whatever action that you need to, and you don't have to worry about ripping the seams or anything, or ripping the material. So it can be a little bit tight and still be functional at the same time. Next up, folks, let's talk about the hood and what I don't like. So when it's loose, the material does pull, hang a little bit below your eyes. You might have to fold this up or you can zip it up and that does help. But let's say that you want a little bit of air. Maybe it's not raining that hard. You have these adjustments on the inside and unfortunately, once you make an adjustment, there's no way to keep and hold that adjustment. You can tie these together, which is something I don't wanna do, but I've been unable to figure out how to get those adjustments to stay, to hold. On both sides of the jacket, inside of the material here, you can feel that there is some sort of stop, right? I can push on this, the material goes through it, but it does absolutely nothing. It doesn't hold this right here. So you can't tug on this, pull everything tight, and then hold it into place with it. They simply do nothing. I cannot figure out how to get those things to work. And I've tried everything. I got Susie the woman's version of this jacket and she has the same issues. We cannot figure out how to get a permanent adjustment with the hood. So with that being said, the hood, in my opinion, it's not the best, but at the same time, it's not the worst. If you have it open like this, again, you may have to simply roll up the brim like that. It works but it's not my preferred method of making adjustments for my rain jackets. The next con that I have for this jacket is a nitpick, really. It's really simple. <laughs> but there is no hanging loop on the inside of this jacket. So when it comes to like hanging this at the door or something like that, you simply cannot do it. It has to be on a hanger or you have to hang from the hood. And I don't personally like hanging from the hood because that does stretch the material, kind of warps it. It's not something that I personally like to do to my clothing. And everyone, as far as my cons go, that is it. That is it. 
So my question for you all is this, what do you all think about this jacket? Considering the pros and the cons, what do you all think? What about the price? $43 for a rain jacket that keeps you dry as long as you're not pushing yourself hard and sweating in it. That's not bad. But is it a deal breaker with the sizing? In my opinion, it could be for some people. For myself in warmer conditions like this where I don't need a sweater on or a puffer jacket, it works fine. But in those colder conditions, when you need an insulation layer, it's simply too tight in the arms. And if I size up, it presents other problems. Now it's your turn to sound off in the comment section down below. Make sure to share your thoughts about this jacket. Overall, the quality is very good for the price. The performance is good for the price. There are sizing issues which need to be considered before you make a purchase. And with that being said, I will wish you all a good day because this review is done. It is done. For $43, I do like this jacket. I do think the company needs to work on their sizing though because there are issues here. And in my opinion, they are somewhat major. By the way, everyone, before I end this video, I wanted to talk about something strange that I came across while getting my information ready to shoot this review. Walmart carries this jacket, but guess how much they wanna charge for it? Pause the video, comment down below. Five, four, three, two, one. Walmart is charging $176 for this jacket. I have no idea why that is. I'm confused, but I found it interesting and wanted to share. Ha, ha, ha.